Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video I'm going to cover perimeter, circumference, and area for polygons and circles. So let's start by taking a look at the square with side S. If we wanted to walk around this square, we would first have to walk length S along one side, length S again along the second side, length S again along the third side, and length S a fourth time along the last side. So we would have walked a total distance of s plus s plus s plus s, or 4s. So we can call that the perimeter, or the distance around the square, 4s, four times the length of one side, since all sides are the same length. Now in a rectangle, we have two different length sides. We have w for width and l for length. So if we want to walk around this rectangle, we're going to walk length w, length l once, length w again, and length l a second time. So the perimeter, or the distance around the rectangle, is going to be 2l plus 2w. Now let's look at a triangle. It's the same concept. We're just going to add the sum of the lengths of each side. So a, b, and c, we add them together. We get the perimeter of the triangle. So perimeter we can define as the distance around a polygon and it's measured in units of length, so inches, feet, centimeters, and so on. Circles, however, we talk about circumference. Circumference is the distance around a circle, and it's also measured in units of length, inches, feet, meters, but since there are no straight edges, we have to figure out how to calculate the area around the circle, the circumference. So let's look at a circle. Circles have a diameter, which is a line across the circle that passes through the center, so we'll call that diameter D. And circles also have a radius, which is the distance from the center to the edge of the circle. So the diameter is two times the radius in every circle. Circles also have this constant value called pi. Pi is equal to 3.14. It is the ratio of the circle's circumference to its diameter. So pi equals C over D. We could rearrange that equation to figure out the circumference of the circle. Circumference equals pi times the diameter, which is also equal to 2 times pi times the radius, or 2 pi r. So the distance around the circle, c equals pi d, or 2 pi r. So just to summarize what we've covered so far, a square with side length s, we can calculate the perimeter as 4 times s. A rectangle with length L and width W, we can calculate the perimeter as 2L plus 2W. A triangle with side lengths A, B, and C, the perimeter is just the sum of those sides, A plus B plus C. And a circle with radius R and diameter D, we can calculate the circumference of that circle as 2 pi R or pi D. They're both equivalent. So that's what we've covered so far. Now let's look at area. Area is the space enclosed by or covered by a shape, and that is measured in square units, such as square inches, square meters, square feet, or whatever. Let's look at how to calculate area. So suppose we have a square with, doesn't matter what units, but side length is unit length one. Let's say it's one inch. Each side is one inch. So if we measure off how many one inch squares we have inside of this large square, we only have one, so the area is one. In a side length two square, you can see halfway along the side, there's a tick mark. Halfway along this side, there's also a line, which cuts it in half. So where each of these smaller squares inside is a length of one, the large blue square has a side length of two. And we can see that there are four smaller squares inside of the large square. So this square has an area of four. And if we have a square with side length three, here we can see one, two units, three units, and this other side is also three units. We can see that there are nine one unit squares within the large blue square. So the area of this large blue square is nine square units. So we could calculate the area of a square using the formula a equals s squared. With a rectangle, it's very similar. Let's say we have a rectangle with width 1 and length 2. We can see that there are two unit squares enclosed within the blue square. So we say that the area of this square is 2. 
And in this larger square, we have a side length of 3 and a side length of 4. If we multiply those together, we get 3 times 4, or 12, for the area. And if we count up the unit squares enclosed within the blue square, that's exactly what we get. So we have 12 unit squares. So our formula for calculating the area of a rectangle is just length times width. And again, that's in square units. Now if we want to find the area of this triangle, one way we could do it is to enclose the triangle within a rectangle. So we know the area of this rectangle. It's L times W, length times width. So now we know the area of this large orange rectangle. Now if we bring our triangle back, we can see that this blue diagonal, the hypotenuse, bisects the rectangle. It cuts it in half. So the area of the blue triangle is exactly half of the orange rectangle. So we can calculate the area of the triangle. We'll call this the base and this the height. The area of the triangle will be the base times the height divided by 2, which is one half the area of the rectangle. And if we have a different type of triangle, here it's not quite as obvious, but it's exactly the same formula. We have base times height divided by 2 to calculate the area of this triangle. And here we can see we have height here and this base. So if we draw a larger rectangle around that, we can see that the blue triangle here, enclosed by this height vertical, is one half of this larger rectangle. And this smaller triangle on the right is one half of this smaller rectangle on the right. So these two triangles combined into the large blue triangle make up one half of the total space within the rectangle. So again, we use the same formula. The area equals the base times the height divided by two. And the height of the triangle must be perpendicular to the base. So let's summarize what we have now. We have a square with side length s. The perimeter is equal to 4s. The area is equal to s squared. A rectangle with length l and width w. The perimeter is 2l plus 2w. And the area of the rectangle is l times w. And with a triangle with base b and height h and side lengths a, b, and c, the perimeter is a plus b plus c just the sum of the outer sides. And the area is the base times the height divided by 2. And lastly, the circle with radius r and diameter d. The circumference is calculated as 2 pi r, which is the same thing as pi times the diameter, pi d. And the area, we didn't cover, but the area is pi r squared. So let's memorize this formula for the area of the circle, pi r squared. So hopefully this all makes sense. Let's cover one more case. A parallelogram. How do we find the area of a parallelogram? Well, first let's look at base b and height h. We can slice off this little triangle that we have on the end here, and we can move it over to this end. Now this looks a lot more like a rectangle with base b and height h if we look at these black lines. So we can calculate the area of this rectangle as base times height. When we move that triangle back over here, the area of the parallelogram is still base times height. So although it looks like a different shape than a rectangle, the area of the parallelogram is just base times height. However, note that don't mistake this angled side as a height. That is not. The height is the perpendicular height to the base. That concludes this video on perimeter, circumference, and area. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.